hello everybody welcome to today's tutorial so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at uh, tune rendering that's this uh, that's a new feature in the v-ray uh, release and they've upgraded the tune render settings that they had before which is very basic the new tune render settings are much better so today we're gonna have a look how we can recreate the iconic sketchup logo uh, similar to like this uh, like a diagram with all these with, with all this kind of um, diagrammatic lines that you see over here in the background and sort of get a product in the end like this directly from SketchUp and not using any other uh, softwares we're just going to use SketchUp and V-Ray so let's just jump right into it um, so I've uh, I've already modeled the, the icon it's pretty basic and I've just set up um, the sort of levels so we can just put in the materials so let's just quickly get into the material settings so press your V-Ray icon that's this icon over here then let's set up a new material which is gonna be the tune material right over here so just click this new material icon add material icon and click tune material then once the tune material is set up the tune material needs a base material to work on so we know that uh, the red our uh, red uh, will be the base material that needs the diagram and we can just leave the other uh, faces as white since the sketchup logo has only two colors so you can see that uh, in the if you just go to the material settings uh, and go to the or model i already have a material one that's red color so i'll go back to my v-ray settings and choose my base material as material one so it is recognized that the base color is red now what we need to do is we need to set up the white outline and the other settings so this, the second uh, option that you see is the line color so right now it's set to black so we can just set it to white and you start seeing that the material has uh, started getting a white background over here now let's just even uh, turn on our uh, interactive render so that we can see the live update happening so and uh, we just apply our material all, all our faces with with this tune material so let's just select the faces that will get the red color so that's that one this one this face little boundaries over here this one and all the boundaries over here so once that's selected just go back to your tune material and just right click the tune material and click apply material to selection i'll just miss this out as well let's go back that's done now let's just open our render interactive back again and you see that it's it's the the toon material started uh, applying this border black lines but we've set it to white but it's not uh, readily uh, updating over here that's because we need to check this uh, option over here that's called complementary exposure so that it uh, removes and uh, adjust the exposure from black to white so once that's checked we see that it, it, the, the lines start updating to whatever color we choose we can choose any color from gray to even white so in the next option is line texture if you want to get dotted lines dashed lines all of this can be done through line texture um, so this is a basic tutorial so I may if you want to guys to tell you how to get dotted and maybe I'll put another tutorial out um, so let's just go to the next option for now in line width basically that's just um, the width of the line and line weight so if you increase it a bit you see that the lines get thicker I'll just give it around 1.9 or 2 looks good Maybe a bit lesser so the lines are pretty consistent now the opacity is just how how uh, how much you can how much visible the lines are so we can reduce it to 60 percent then it becomes fade faded away so I'll just, i need it to be more visible so i'll just keep it at one um now all of these settings you can just leave it as it is no need to edit them as well these uh, kind of are related to how wavy and curvy the lines get 
so right now we need just need straight line so all the settings from distortion to normal threshold can be left as it is now this setting that you see is pretty important so this is the setting that will give you the boundary lines to give that sort of diagrammatic look so it it completes the silhouette so for that for what you need to do is check this icon below silhouette mult first so i think it's it's basically a silhouette multiplier so um so we check that icon and we can we can start getting we start getting the silhouette uh, lines and we can slowly increase the thickness so we get much thicker silhouette uh, silhouette base in the background want some satisfied with the thickness I'll click OK rest everything can be left as it is so you see that we've already started getting a very good very good uh, kind of base render now just go back to your render settings and you can just turn all your shadows and ambient occlusion and global illumination on so that you get um, good shadows and uh, choose whatever uh, size you render you want and uh, just click render so that you get a high res render so basically that's it guys that's how easy it is to create to create a v-ray tone material um, so this I can uh, so let me know if you want to know more in-depth tutorials on how to get more out of this tune render settings uh, for just this is just a quick video for today hope you found it nice and please subscribe and like if you like these videos and more coming soon